China were about to visit the place of Bayala, specifically the Bayapa. They were friends and they lived at San Francisco, Magalang, Pampanga. One time, they got bored and planned to go to Bayapa to clear their minds. They searched for a place and sought for a tour guide and a driver as well. I should call my friends and ask them if they are ready. Seb called his friends. Oh, hi Seb. Are you guys ready? Yes, we are. We should book a tour guide for us. Hold on. I'll try to look online and choose the most accommodating one. After a couple of minutes, Sky reached out the tour guide. Good morning, ma'am. What can I do for you? Are you available to guide us to pay? Yes, ma'am. I'm always available. Anyways, what time will go here, ma'am? Uh, we're not sure yet, but I'll call you as soon as possible. Sure, ma'am. Just call me up. We already have a tour guide. We should find a transportation next. Let's go to the nearest closing zone and ask them if they know where Payapa is and how much would it cost. They walk until they reach the loading zone beside the San Francisco Church. Good morning, sir. May I ask you if you know where Payapa is? And how much do you think it would cost to go there? Payapa, yes, I know where Payapa is. It would cost 120 pesos. Considering the distance and time it will take to go there. Sky took her wallet out and picked 200 peso bill and handed it over to Kuya Julio. I should call the tour guide to tell him that we're about to go there. Sky called the tour guide. Hello, madam. What can I help you? Hi, Kuya Ben. We're on our way there. Hello, ma'am. Have a safe trip. Just meet me at 7-Eleven around San Pablo. Sure, Then Sky and Gina rode the tricycle of Kuya Julio. While they are inside the tricycle, Kuya Ben called Sky. Good, ma'am. And may I ask if it is okay if we use my vehicle to go to Peapa? It's part of my job as a tour guide. And going back to my past, I was also a tricycle driver. Oh, that's good to hear, Kuya Ben. Guys, Kuya Ben told me that he has his own vehicle and he'll let us ride it to go to our destination. Oh yeah, that's actually good. Kuya Julio, just drop us at 7-Eleven around San Pablo. Sure, sure. Afterwards, all of them are at 7-Eleven. Thank, Thank you, Kuya Julio. Kuya Julio. Sky handed the 200 peso bill to Kuya Julio, and Kuya Julio handed back 100 pesos to Sky. It's your change, ma'am. Thank you for trusting me. I will go back to our loading zone. Have a safe drive, Kuya Julio. Goodbye, Kuya Julio. Kuya Ben approached them. Hello, guys. Let's go and hop in my vehicle. They hoped in at Kuya Ben's vehicle. Furthermore, as they are on their way, they ask questions to Kuya Ben. Kuya Ben, is it true that we can get the solace we want in Payapa? Sir, many tourists went there and give feedbacks about the solace or comfort they felt when they are chilling over there. Is it true that the way over there is high and somehow hard to deal with? Honestly, yes. First, is it's high because it's on a mountain. Second, is the roads are not flattened. And lastly, the way is full of dust. Oh yes, I saw it on some feedbacks and I think it's still worth it though. They saw the school of PSAU. There is the PSAU, one of the famous universities here in Pampanga. 
after 10 minutes of driving, they saw the place where there's a lot of police and army. Here is where the army and police teams train themselves. I feel safe in here. After 5 minutes of driving, they saw a rehabilitation center. This is where my Tito got his counseling. They put him here because of drugs issues. After 20 minutes of driving, they are finally at Payapa. We're already here, but we still need to walk to finally go in Payapa. So exciting! Let's go so we can chill and bond. They walk until they reach Duya. I miss this place. I used to come here and chill with my boyfriend. They continued to walk until they reached the entrance of Payapa. But the way is not easy to deal because of its bumps, holes, and high trail. Are you still okay, ma'am and sir? Yes, yes Kuya. Kuya. We can do we this. We can do this. After five minutes of walking, they finally entered Payapa. We're all already here. Enjoy and have a comfort, ma'am and sir. Anyway, are you hungry, ma'am and sir? There's a store over there. Right. Let's eat first before exploring this place. Let's go. I'm also hungry after that long and tiring walk. They went to the store and bought some foods. After that, they went to their cottage. Hey ben, come and join us so we can ask questions and get to know more about this place. Sure, ma'am. My pleasure. They started to eat. Wow, the view is so beautiful. It has intricate beauty that no one couldn't ask for more. What's more, when night time comes? Night time, we will be able to see the night lights and sit around the bonfire. Let's sit around the bonfire and talk about our lives or how beautiful this place is. You can also come in here if you want to. Oh, we're not able to pack more stops such as the tent. It's okay, we can go back anytime here with our stuff and prepare. You know what? Let's just enjoy our time for now. They started to talk about their lives. They talked for a long time without noticing the time. Suddenly, Seb's phone rang. Hello, mother. What can I do for you? Where are you? Go home now. His mother was furious. Guys, my mother called me and she told me to go home now. Can we go home now? Oh yeah, it's night time. We should definitely go home. Let's go. We can always go back in here with our stops. Yeah, let's go guys before it will get dark. They packed their stuffs and paid their entrance fee. They were on their way home. How was your trip, guys? I felt really good, Kuya Ben. Same. How about you, Kuya Ben? How's your day with us? Enjoyed it, guys. I really like your humors and interactions with me. Um, Kuya Ben? Can you share a story about your life? I have a wife and a two children. My wife is a housewife and I am the one who is supporting our family. Going back, I was a taxi driver. But pandemic started, then I decided to work as a tricycle driver and tour guide as well. Double works, double income. Work smarter, not harder. I love how hardworking you are, Kuya. You're so inspirational, Kuya. I hope there are more men like you, where business and family is his first priorities. After 30 minutes of driving, they finally arrived at San Francisco. 
Goodbye, guys. Until our next trip. Goodbye, Kuya Ben. Drive safely. Drive safely. Bye, Kuya Ben. Drive safely. Bye,